Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, today I want to talk about why artists become bitter. And I know, well, from my own observation, these days, I don't see many bitter artists. In fact, I don't even know a single one. Never heard of one, aside from the ones who lived 200 years ago. But in this contemporary time, I don't know a single one other than myself, in all honesty. The frustrated one, the one who, who's pretty much like Van Gogh. For those who don't know who Van Gogh is, uh, well, everybody should know who he is, but he's the artist who cut off his ear. Um, but there's just too many mysteries as to like what caused him to do it. Some say um, he was suffering from attacks, uh, spiritual attacks, hallucinating. Um, so he had to cut off his ear for an offering or something. Okay, I'm making that part up. But others say he cut off his ear to give to his ex-lover. Um, but nobody's actually clear as to why. But everybody is definitely clear as to like this guy was depressed and angry. Um, so for the longest time, Van Gogh lived a life of near poverty. He was a starving artist. And only after his death was he worth... Uh, a lot of money or worth anything at all but he managed to sell quite a few of his stuff in the last five years of his entire life and that had to be frustrating that had to be very very sad that it took you however many years let's say if you live 50 years it took him 45 years to sell something and then on top of that he had to lose an ear before he could sell something in order for society to recognize him, to see him, to know who he is, he had to lose an ear. And a lot of people will say, man, look, that's life, all right? You can't win it all. You can't get it all. Whatever. And I completely, completely understand that. You know, it is life. It is completely unpredictable. Nobody is to feel entitled to anything, you know. But I... I I'm not making this video because I feel slightly entitled, but it's just I want to say what I think and there might be other frustrated artists out there and I want to help people avoid frustration, avoid being uh, a frustrated artist. Now once again, I'm in the jungle and this environment is bad so people are already starting to make noise outside for who knows what reason. So uh, please bear with me. Now, what has made me a frustrated, angry, tormented artist is because I was never warned that, hey, look, uh, you have to pay attention to where you live. Where you live is very important. You have to pay attention to your environment. I never had guidance uh, growing up in terms of uh, following this industry. I didn't. I grew up pretty much on the western side of things i grew up on the internet you know I, it was as if it was as if everything happening here was happening in america it was as if the whole world was following one culture that's what it felt like as a young boy i remember in high school that's what i thought you know i was never ever made aware of what real life actually is and so i was naive to pursue my dream of becoming a manga artist in Japan and so on and so on and I do see a lot of people wanting to, to do the same thing but these very same people who are young who want to go to Japan and all these things their problem is they don't listen they do not listen in fact they cannot even listen I'm not saying give up your dreams I'm saying listen to the advice I can give you so you don't repeat the same mistakes but they don't listen they don't want to listen and above all else they are not serious because if they were they would have had at least a hundred pages worth of uh, manga drawn because when I was 14 from 14 15 16 I had already drawn more than 300 uh, uh, pages worth of comic content I had already drawn at least three chapters in one year so I don't see a single young person who's telling me they want to make it big and 
be great. I don't see them doing a single page. I don't see them doing five pages, ten pages, you see. So that's just ridiculous. And then they're going to end up, in fact, much worse than I ended up because they uh, overestimate themselves. You know, they honestly think that they can just wake up and start drawing 15 pages in a day without ever having tried it especially in your youngest time when you're at your strongest and freshest they're not using their youth correctly and for me i really did use up my youth correctly you know um but once again i ended up the frustrated artist because i didn't have guidance and so van gogh uh you know he wasn't as skilled as all the other artists at that in that era but you know he was he, he was okay but he was not as skilled that's the problem um so i understand his frustrations that of course there were worse artists than him who uh, got recognition so on and so on but i think you know the problem is van gogh put all his eggs in one basket you know and that's exactly what i did and when you do that you are going to end up a frustrated artist and then on top of that to make things worse you are a misunderstood artist you know and then on top of that you are a misunderstood man you are a misunderstood individual making you extremely extremely dangerous or uh, extremely uh, uh, rejected by society because there's nothing worse than a misunderstood person especially a misunderstood guy you kind of go insane you kind of uh, do all sorts of extremes just to prove a point you know so this this is the problem is that I didn't know all these things you know I went full ahead thinking life is just a breeze I had no idea you know I learned a few things and got screwed over multiple times but in the end when I realized that you know it's just too much logistics for a Japanese company to actually want to hire somebody who's a foreigner there's too many logistics there's too many there's too much uh, uh, work paperwork that needs to be done on top of that to work as a manga artist in Japan you really can't you can't work there as a, a manga artist you can't I know this because I have a guy I know who lives in Japan, who's from South Africa, who got a scholarship to go study at Kyoto Seika University to study to be a manga artist. But for, for some reason, after five years of studying with the best, he he's just not at the level they want him to be. He doesn't really qualify to be at that level, you know, and now he he's a teacher he worked in game design so on and so on but he just didn't meet the bar to draw manga you know it's extremely hard and on top of that you don't get a visa for being a manga artist so anyone who wanted to be a manga artist would have to live in their own country and then you just send in your your storyboards via email you see th these are the small details that i never knew going into this industry i didn't know all of these things and i just found out that you don't you don't get a visa this year because i only started talking to this guy properly this year you know this is somebody who got lucky enough to go to japan and study there and but still did not meet the bar i personally think i would have met the bar but whatever you know so he's moving to new york next year he's going to start a new uh game studio there so yeah good for him but to avoid being frustrated being a frustrated artist a, a, a bitter artist an angry artist a, a depressed artist you must not put all your eggs in one basket you must understand where you're from where you live and the difficulties of you just deciding that you want to pack your stuff and go to a different country being realistic saves you a lot of pain a lot of pain and a lot of people would say being realistic is what destroys dreams that's not true being realistic is what saves you from feeling like your dreams were destroyed because you know when you're young you are naive and so some might want to argue and be like hey what about jim lee he left uh, marvel todd todd mcfallen left marvel and they did their own thing and became millionaires and it's like listen we are not in america 
and above all else, above all else, regardless of location, we are not living in the 90s or the 80s. We are living in a time where things are just chaotic, where nobody can keep their word, where nobody will even look at your CV or your artwork because they don't know you. It's not about merit anymore. It's about who you know. So people need to understand that in this time period we live in, it's not like how things used to be. And so you cannot pursue your dreams as if you're living in the 1960s. It doesn't work like that anymore. You have to be corrupt. You have to know people in the industry. You have to be willing to do what's dirty, you know. So for me, I am indeed a bitter angry artist and um, you know I, I, in the next video I want to talk about how one can stay angry now anger is not a good thing the good book says cast away all anger and bitterness you know but being angry is a lot of effort because anger or hatred is something that needs to be fed you have to remind yourself why you're angry I don't have to remind myself why I'm angry. I don't have to feed it. I wake up, I look outside, I get angry. Everything around me makes me angry because all the abominable things, the crazy things just remind me and show me that this is why you could never go anywhere because of where you are, because of the people around you, because of this retarded society that you're in in this satanic country, you know? So the powerlessness that I failed, felt, right? turn to helplessness and turn to rage right and most people go beyond rage and start going on a rampage start killing people dissing people uh, making fun of people stuff like that right so honestly the bitter artist is the one who put all of his eggs in one basket the bitter artist is the one who did not take into account the logistics and real requirements of going where he wants to be. The bitter artist is the one who ignored reason and followed passion. I ignored reason and followed passion. Why? Because the TV told me so. Because the celebrities said, do what you want, work super hard and you'll get there. But then in reality, with common sense, there are like 8 billion people on this planet, right? And there's only 2% of them who are actually famous. People might have the dream of working in Hollywood. What percentage of, let's say, American actors now, what percentage of uh, successful Hollywood American art, uh, actors are there compared to the entire population of America, right? It's a small, small number. And that's just the reality. It's very, very small. The chances of you being Hokage are close to none. So one has to be realistic to, to avoid the heartache that they would suffer from, as I have suffered from. But hey, every time I tell the truth, people say I'm just being negative. And then they're going to pursue things blindly. I'm not saying stop, but blindly. And then they're going to end up in a ditch be angry and then want to blame people and uh, once that happens well in all honesty you might as well just blame yourself I do blame myself even though uh, I was not guided I was not guided because there was nobody around this place to guide me I was the first of my kind to run after this dream uh, in this country I was the first of my kind and I thought I was going places but it was a lie it was a lie. I was not being realistic. I was following passion. You know. Because in real life. In real life the human being understands that. You're here for a moment. And if you know you're here for a moment. And you don't want to kill yourself. All you need to do is survive. And then if you survive well enough. Reward yourself with what you like. You know. And that's drawing. That's music. That's whatever. Right. Right. That's something I never knew. I, 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 wish, I wish my parents taught me that, but they too were blindsided by this new age way of living. You know, saying, oh, our kids can do whatever they want now. They won't have to grow up in, you know, a, a messed up uh, system and whatever. And uh, that's not the reality. And so when I hear young people tell me they want to do what I do or want to go beyond... 
this is not my hero academia this is real life but they will not listen they do not listen and once again this is why I can't talk to anybody this is why I can't talk to anybody because nobody wants to reason everybody wants to follow passion and then everybody wants to say I'm bitter but okay fine yes I am bitter yes I am bitter because constantly the environment makes me bitter constantly the people I encounter make me bitter because they all have one voice which is the voice of the media the voice of the celebrities who tell them they can do it they can make it but they forget that that celebrity had to uh, 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 bend over had to do all sorts of things to get where he is right so it's not that simple one must be realistic and above all else that I hate the most in this place I live at is that once again in the third world it's very hard not to be bitter because when you do st want to start something you want to change something the people just want to take advantage of what you offer they will not work with you they will not uh, do anything with you they will just talk and it ends there nobody's willing to sit down and grind so to anybody uh, listening to this, if you're young and you don't have more than 50 pages that you have drawn, you're not serious. Anybody, whatever age you are, it doesn't matter at this point. If you don't have 50 pages done, right, in under a year, in under a, a, a the first quarter of the year, you're not serious. You're absolutely not serious. This is not a game. This is not a game. And... If you want to put all your eggs in one basket and you want to treat this work like you can just walk in there and make it, well, you will fail dismally and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot worse than it hurt for me. So, once again, like anybody who feels bitter after what I've said, the truth hurts. The truth really, really hurts. Uh, I'm just going to say what. Ever the heck I flipping want at this moment because I don't care I am angry I am the angry artist I am the angry failed manga artist of the pits of Africa and uh, I will say whatever the heck I want because at the end of the day this is supposed to help whoever's listening to help them be reasonable not to be overly passionate and be screwed over and ask themselves why what happened because I know a guy who was too passionate to take my advice. Two years later, he came back saying, hey, can you teach me how to draw? I was wrong. My bad. I, was, I didn't listen. I was like, nah, dude. Nah, you're retarded. Sorry. I, I want nothing to do with you. I don't know where he is now. And I don't care. But everybody's got one chance at doing something right. So do it right the first time. Don't be like me. I had no guidance. And people lied to me. But I suppose I had to learn what I had to learn to tell everybody else, hey, this is how it is. So, it's up to y'all to listen or not. So, whatever. 